anybody kneeling for the National Anthem, we will escort you out of here. Thank you, Quang. Hey, we're so glad you guys are here today. And it just means a lot to see this place back. The beautiful weather. Wes, Kristen, you guys, fantastic job, Marksville Dragway. You guys continue doing a good job. You came in for our city. Right now, I want to introduce the man that found us on YouTube. He's been to every drag strip in the country, I think, at some point we were talking earlier, all over the country. He said this was the coolest drag racing he's ever seen. We can give us a thumbs up now. He's never seen anything like it since he's been going since 1955. He came all the way from Massachusetts. I'm going to introduce him to you. Hi, my name is Derek, and this is one of the most wonderful drag races I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot. That's uh, means a lot. This man right here that does a lot of video. We did on board, and that's they were talking earlier. That's how they found out. That's how they found out through the good work you do, and we appreciate what you do. Lord, we just want to thank you for this beautiful day. It just could not be a more perfect day. The, paint, uh, the grandstands are full. It's all because of you. You give us the opportunity to come out, be with families. Enjoy something we all love to do. It's a hobby, but Lord, you give us the opportunity to do this hobby and just become closer with our kids, our moms, our dads. I've been around some people this weekend. It's just unbelievable the family atmosphere that Southeast Catholics have, Lord, and it's because of you and the things you allow us to do. So please let everybody just enjoy the rest of the day, Lord. Just get through this heat and we wish everybody a safe trip home after you see some fantastic drive racing. And Jesus, we just pray and do everything in your name to do better and make this world better. Amen.
All right, motors turning, tires to burning. Thank everyone for being here at Knoxville Dragway today. A beautiful day for drag racing as we get ready to go with first run, first round. Uh, super stock here at Knoxville Dragway. be a good race right here. Number six and seven qualifier running against each other here at first round. Gonna be Steve Spinney Davis. One more pair. Ron Allison going against Brian Dalton Sr. Winner gets Randy Keeper in the next round. Next 
start out going to be my buy run, my number one qualifier. Man, I told you all ever since we started, he loves this place. Josh Pruitt, the young blood car out of Inland, South Carolina, number one qualifier. Give a big shout out to Bella Ponte Clutch as our trophy sponsors for this event and our next one coming up on the Gulf Ford Mississippi and our final event up at Shadyside. Next pair out going to be Diana Castro, the number 11 qualifier going against Alfred Adams, the number 12 qualifier, Diana out of Sandyville, West Virginia. Arthur Russell, the number nine qualifier going against Tony Tagenhurst, the Wasted Wages car, number 14 qualifier. Next pair out going to be Ernie Smith out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, the Saturday night special over in Napa Lane, going against Jaron Perdue, the Adams County Outlaw out of Adams County, Ohio. He's over in this post driveline lane. Picking up that win. Next pair out is going to be Jimmy Huff over here in the post driveline lane. Going to get Rick Taylor. advance into the next round.
Sheila Miley out of Petersburg, Indiana, here in the post drive line lane. We're gonna get Brad to breeze Wimberley. He's over there in that Napa lane. Winner gets Dusty Baker in the next round. Matthew Miller, I'm going to have to check the track of Jones. That does conclude C gas as we get ready to move into B gas. Going to be Kelvin Cannon going against Kobe Welch. Kobe out of Cookville, Tennessee. Kelvin out of Elizabeth, in Tennessee. Kobe Welch over there in Apple Lane. out of Roebuck, South Carolina, over there in that Napa lane, going against Austin, Texas' own Mark Hallett, the former flower power car. Sean McLemore or Bill Revels. And they're the next pair out.
Next pair is going to be Ken Rainwater out of Birmingham, Alabama. Going against Tullahoma, Tennessee's own Greg Adams in that hillbilly dude. Rainwater, close drive line lane, picking up that wind. He'll advance into the next round. Daniel Haynes and that Patriot over there in that Napa lane. Going to get Todd Napier, the Tommy Hillbilly out of Clinton, Tennessee, over here in the post drive line lane. Next pair out is going to be Dennis Shepard, no more than Tennessee. He'll be going out of Clinton, Tennessee over in that gold digger in the Napa Lane. Going against Gordon Rundle out of Speedway, Indiana. Luck of the draw, brought to you by Powerhouse Diesel Performance here today at Knoxville Dragway. Next pair out is going to be Tent McGee, the Rocky Top Missile out of North City, Tennessee, over there in the Napa Lane. Or just Jason Roberts out of Lexington, South Carolina, the Carolina Moon here in the post drive line lane. Ed McGee going to go into the next run. So he'll run either Magnus Carlson or Ray Fossil. Speaking of those two, here they come out next. Next pair. Magnus Carlson, the Cool Ridge Speed Shot Machine, all the way from Sweden over there in the post drive line. Going against Ray Fossil. He's from Danridge, Tennessee. He's over there in that Napa lane, cars for sale. Awesome, picking up a win, and he'll run Ted McGee in the next round. Donovan Scott, and that executioner too. Going against Greg Stell. Donovan out of Columbus, North Carolina. Greg all the way from Wapak, Wisconsin. That joker goes 57 Pontiac. Done day. Donovan done laid the tree down on him. He'll run either Kenneth Phillips or Marlon next pair out.
Deanna Phillips, my 2019 ADF World Champion here in the post drive line lane. Robbins Repairables, Leslie Horn and Associate on this stick magnet out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina, my 2022 champion. Number one qualifier today. He gets by into the next round where he'll run either Dean Jones or Ben Christopher. Klein over here in the post drive line lane at 1941 Willis out of Tazewell, Virginia. Going to get Chase Howard out of Greer, South Carolina. Giving him a run, it's going to be Navalane Chase Howard going into the next round. Next pair out is going to be Gabriel Burrell. Going to get Barry Lynn. side-by-side run, and uh, oh, that, that's been real hard to close from right down here, but the Napa light coming on for Gabriel Burrell, and he'll run Chase Howard in the next round. Terry Housley and Mr. Quick, beautiful red and black over there in that Napa lane. Didn't even make a qualifying run. Has had problems with the motor. It's going to get Mitch Dot. Mitch, the number two qualifier.
Pitch dot. Dean Jonas, bulletin horsepower under the hood, car horsepower under the hood of Dan Christopher's Happy Days car over there in the Napa Lane. Robert Fraser, the black and blue car. Robert Fraser. He told me earlier, he said, I got something for this boy. Warner against Steve Davis. Kiefer or Ron Allison is, and that's the next pair out. Then we'll get ready to move into Seagat. Tangler. Move into sea gas. First time out is going to be Albert Adams. Dog. He's out of Abbeville, South Carolina.
Rex Bear out, going to be Ernie Smith, the Saturday night special, going into that Napa lane out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, going against Matthew Miller out of Warner Robins, Georgia, a little Hell's Bells car coming into the post driveline lane. Post drive line lane. I mean, Brad's going over into that Napa lane. Billy Wilson going against Arthur Russell, the troublemaker against the Pink Panther. Billy out of Gaffney, South Carolina. He's going into the next round. He'll run either side of him or Jimmy Huff. And here they come out. picking up the wind. Don't know how he did it, but he drove around and Kevin Burke got left on the line. And I thought, oh no, not again, but he drove around him on the upper end up there. Winner right here gets the number one qualifier, Kevin Burton, in the next round. Kobe Welch in the Moonbeam, my 2022 Big Ass World Champion. Going against Robbie Walden. Kobe Welch. He'll run either Scott Buckner or Daniel Haynes. Daniel's coming up next in the post drive line lane. Daniel Haynes. 
Butler rolling back. He rolled in and then rolled back out of the beams. And Daniel Haynes is going to be running against Kobe Welch in the next round. Over in this post drive line lane, Bill Rebel out of Canton, North Carolina. He'll come back and run even 10 for G or Magnus Carlson. That'll be my next pair out. This is a continuation of B gas last night when we got the legs were lame last night. We were down to uh, four cars left in B gas, and that's where we'll start our day here at Knoxville Dragway. Thank you fans that did come back this morning to watch. it off early. Next pair out, we're winding up a B gas and we'll move into C gas uh, makeup round. It's going to be the Rocky Top Missile out of the North City, Tennessee. Mr. is Ted the G over there in that Napa lane. He's going to get some Agnes Carlson. The Cool Ridge feed shop. Chevrolet over here in this post drive line lane. Missile, Napa Lane is going to get there, and Ted McGee will pass into the next round. Man has a bye. He's going to come out first. Kenneth Phillips, this is my uh, 2019 A Glass World Champion out of Campbellville, South Carolina, the Silver Street 2, Kenneth Phillips. Okay, next pair out is going to be the Chick Magnet, my 2022 A-Gas World Champion. He's currently second in points out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina, Leslie Horn and that Robbins Repairables, Leslie Horn and Associate Chick Magnet in the post drive line lane. He's going against Ben Christopher, the Happy Days car. Horn, the post drive line lane, taking that win. He, he's he's uh, he's ready for the uh, semis. It's going to be the double X fifty eight Del Rey over here in the post drive line lane. Going to be the troublemaker Billy Wilson out of Gaffney, South Carolina, over there in the Napa lane. going to be Todd Oden.
Ernie Smith done upset young blood. Ernie Smith pulled a rabbit out of his hat, and I guarantee you, you can't tell that man nothing right now. Out of Beaver Dam, Kentucky, this is the Rye Burton Schroeder, Kevin Burt behind the wheel over here in the post driveline lane. Ford's going at it. Daniel Haynes won her last event up in Ohio. He's going to be over in that Napa Lane. Kobe Welch. Kobe out of Cookville, Tennessee. Kobe is actually my 2022 B Gas defending champion for 2022. Back. Daniel's out there with Kobe charging hard on the upper end, and Daniel Haynes picks up that win. The Rocky type missile is going to be coming into the post drive line lane. Canton, North Carolina is where Bill Rebels calls home. He's over there in that Napa lane. Ted McGee picking up that win. All right, this is my uh, powerhouse diesel performance match race. Two young ladies, Tasha McLemore out of Clinton, Tennessee. Going against Diana Casto, the quick draw car out of Sandyville, West Virginia. Gonna be Diana Castro taking that win as Tasha McLemore rolled through the beams. Over here in the post drive line lane out of Austin, Texas. Mark Halleck going against Sean McLemore, the fortunate son out of Clinton, Tennessee. All the way from Texas and winning the uh, Powerhouse Days Performance Race. That was Mark Hallett. Barry Lynn toting the wheels a little bit wagging and he takes the win in the Powerhouse Days Performance Run there. A good run there for Barry here.
Scott Party out of Shipley, Florida, going against Robert Fraser out of Bristol, Tennessee. Kiefer. Barnum. Rick Barnum will come back and run Randy Kiefer as we get ready for our sea gas semis. Close on the upper end, gonna be Tim Hall. Ernie give it out all he could there, and he tried. Okay, out of Campbellville, South Carolina, over in that Napa Lane, that's Kenneth Phillips, a 2019 A-Gas World Champion. Post Drive Line Lane, the 2003 Pro Mod World Champion, Mitch Dot, and the Frequent Flyer, 63 Split Wonder Corvette with that Cosby horsepower. Gonna be Mitch Dot. <laughs> Leslie Horn going to try to go for make it two in a row. First time in 12 year history of the Southeast Gassers that the times will be shown. The scoreboards are on.
he's a bug. He goes red. I don't Doug knew what he had to do, but even with that, Fraser's going to drive around him, and he goes an impressive 7.05. Coming out super stock now. This is the only man that's ever beat Rick Barner. He did it in Orangeburg, South Carolina earlier this year is Randy Keeper. Rick Barner standing it straight up and it's going to be Keeper. Out of Abbeville, South Carolina, Tim Hall. Todd Oden, that big Del Ray 58 double X. These cars actually last run, run identical times within six thousandths of a second of each other. It takes a whole lot of torque to pick up the front end of a big 58 Delray and you're fixing to see how much torque this uh, one-way technology motor puts to the ground here in Knoxville this weekend. All out first. Tim Hall runs a 6.15. Odin slowing to an Red start off in the Napa lane. Leslie Horn over in the post drive line lane. Who's it going to be? Red start going to pick up his first winners. Leslie going to make it two in a row.
Leslie Horn a 533. All right, here in the winter circle, getting familiar with this man right here. This is two in a row right here, Mr. Yeah. Leslie Horn, my 2022 A Gas World Champion. Buddy, we got a race now. Oh, we do. It's uh, it's funny, you know. I hate I hate pickle liquor ain't up here, so I can pick on him. You know, that's Mitch. And somebody asked me, I think it was Bones or something, was talking to him a while ago. And I said, there's just really no ducks, you know, in A Gas at all. I said, just because a guy looks like a duck, walks like a duck, don't mean he's a duck when he gets to the track. But then I don't know what happened. When you go talking about duck, you think about Mitch. Don't yeah, you? Hey, Mitch. But, but anyway, yeah, I was watching that. When we got to the semis, and I was like, I was up there talking to Tyler. I said, this could be a final in any of our races and all this stuff. There is no gimmies in the A Gas and Southeast Gassers. It's not just the semis, Rick, it's, it's from the start. Tall. I mean, the first round, you can go out in the first round just as easy in the, in the second round. I mean, all it takes is a little bit on the tree. When we was looking at the Friday night, was all looking with, there was like six or seven of us right there within two hundredths of each other, you know. So hey, that makes it tough. So it's just whoever gets the light, whoever car goes straight. Thank God I got Brian tuning mine, got it straight up through there, and I got carburetor Bob working on it all the time. And I mean, we're, we're constantly, Bob's constantly, as soon as I get back, we got a routine we're running through. And if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be here without those, you know. So then got Robin backing me up. Then Logan, you know, it's just been, it's been a good weekend. Yeah, yeah it's like I say, that's one thing about drag racing, the consistency. You notice the teams, you've got everybody doing the same thing every time. And, and what it always turns in, it turns into a winner. And that's what Leslie Warren was today here, eight yes, gas sir. at Knoxville Dragway. Going to be seeing y'all down in Mobile. Yep, thank you, Knoxville Dragway. Hey, here we are, the winner circle, Knoxville, the Patriot Daniel Haynes. This is two in a row. You love Ohio, and then you love, like, you always get hot, hot after Ohio. We do, we do. Uh, you know, Ohio gets a little, gets us fired up a little bit, I guess. We need to run Ohio earlier in the year, I think. Yeah, this somewhat controversial win here, but with everything looking and all this stuff, I've never seen a car go in looking at everything. You were clearly the winner after everything shook out. You was able to get through the beams before he got in. That by the time you got back in, got into the beams, you left. And it's a controversial win, but a win's a win. A good run here by Daniel Haynes, the Patriot here. His second win of our 2023 season here at Knoxville. You want to thank anybody? Uh, yeah, I, I do want to thank some people. My, my wife, my brother Kim, Veldas, they, they all keep me up. Scott, Rhonda. They all keep me up at the track. We got Rob Anario, helps us out a whole lot. My little brother with All Advantage Outdoors, All Outdoors, helps us out a lot. There's a lot of people that help out. Yeah, that's what you, it's, it's, it's what Sega's a family, it's a team, and it all has to have, for the team, for everything to come together, everything has to be clicking. But a great win here, whether it's a controversial win or not, a win's a win. Always good to see the Patriot in the winner's circle. Thank you, Ricky. Hopefully next one won't be a controversy. That's great. I want to All right, here in the winter's circle at Knoxville, two in a row here. I saw you up in Ohio, yep. four wins in a row there. You're doing great there, my 2022 champion. You're leading the points this year. So uh, you was under, sick under the weather, but you was able to pull it off. That's something make you feel better a whole lot. Yeah, winning makes you feel better. Uh, I was sick bad Friday. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to come. Mom and Daddy told me, said, if you can just get over to our house and get in the motorhome, you can be sick in the motorhome on the way to the racetrack. <laughs> I couldn't get there. I couldn't even go. Um, so I told them, I said, we're going to have to wait a little while and leave later. So we ended up leaving about 1.30, and I was able to make it. And then I got feeling better yesterday and felt pretty good today. So the old car was temperamental all weekend. Didn't want to even crank to drive into the dang victory you know, celebration thing. But, uh, but there's a lot of people I want to thank. Uh, Molly Motorsports helps me out. They've helped me out for years. Um, Tim Brown at Roofing Unlimited, uh, Barry Whitworth painted the car. Mom and Daddy is probably my biggest sponsor. They buy all the fuel for the motorhome to get us here, there, and yonder, and you know, take me all over the world and chase my dream of being a, a, a professional drag racer. You know, so <laughs> I, I feel like it's professional, so that's cool. But anyway, thanks to everybody that pulls for us and helps us out. It's really fun. Give a big round of applause for. Tim Hall, the Scouted Dog, his fourth winner of the year. Here's the second in a row here at Knoxville. Thank y'all. All right, here we are, winter circle, Knoxville Dragway, Mr. Randy Keeper. Two you've done this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you and Rick Warner battling out and all that stuff. He stood that thing straight up. I don't know if you could see the peripheral vision. That thing standing straight up. That little Pontiac 
spine tangler tangling on down the track there. Yeah, we, we, we didn't have the greatest pass that, that, that we wanted that time, but uh, yeah, I could see him out of my per peripheral and I didn't know, didn't know what happened to him, but, but I knew he had a little bit too much bite in it today. So uh, I, I'm, hope, I'm, I'm hoping he put that in there for, special for me, so. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, this car right here is a very impressive, beautiful paint job on a little spine tangler car. And it's, like I said, I call it a former, former grocery dealer turned drag racer. Winner here in Knoxville in Superstock, second win of the year, Mr. Randy Keeper. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I appreciate what Wes does for us here. I mean, he welcomes us uh, amazingly. Uh, they've made a bunch of improvement. This is a great race here. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy for my team. Uh, Ron and Mickey and, and, and Wayne. Uh, Bonifani Clutches helps us out. And uh, G-Force and of course Butler Performance. Just just great, great support. So we appreciate the Southeast Gassers as always. We had a great ha crowd here yesterday. I wish they could have to, to stay to see the finals. So thank you. Thank you. I was really impressed with the fans that turned back out today and all this stuff. That's what they gotta give yourself a hand there. The fans that come back today. Randy, Randy Kiefer, I'll give him a big hand. Spine Tanger winning here at Superstock at Knoxville Dragway. Here we are at Winter Circle at Knoxville Dragway, H Gas, Robert Fraser. You come up and talk to me earlier and all this stuff about your new sponsor. You want to go ahead and give them a shout out? It's Bo Beverly up in Pound, Virginia. He's helping out on the engine stuff, machine working stuff. That's what it took this time. Yeah, you made a real impressive run right there in the finals and all this stuff. Congratulations, Mr. Robert Fraser. Thank you. His one to H Gas here in Knoxville today. Thank you.